Hey, what's good, everyone? This is your boy Max, and uh, do not attempt to adjust your uh, your TV set or computer monitor or whatnot. This is a gameplay of Call of Duty Black Ops 2. This is a game that I pretty much damn near swore that I was never going to play again. I downloaded this for the free-to-play weekend on Steam, and I wanted to give this game one more chance to, you know, to uh, hopefully redeem itself. I was hoping that the players would be a little bit more mature, that uh, the gameplay would be a little bit, you know, better. Um, for one, there's not a whole lot of panic knifers. I think that's a good, that that was a first good sign for me. But unfortunately, I ran to a lot of hackers and modders, uh, lag switchers, and they run a lot more rampant on the PC version than they actually do in their console counterparts. So... Uh, this is probably a game I will never touch again. Yeah, I know. Famous last words. Sue me. Anyway, the gameplay is something I really want you to look at at the moment. And uh, you're noticing that I'm using multiple shots here. But they're somewhat, they're pretty much synced with each other. As you can see, when I move to different corridors, I can actually cut to a, uh, a first person view and then switch back to a third to a first person again and it looks the shots look a little bit more dynamic it's all the same exact gameplay it's just done with two different angles to me this actually makes this gameplay a lot more interesting now as far as the actual you know the wins or excuse me the uh you know the kill death ratio or all the scores and whatnot uh, yeah, I mean, obviously that will probably make this game look even better. But for an average COD gamer like myself, to use this kind of method, to me, makes this gameplay look a little bit more action-packed. Uh, the gameplay to me was a little bit more you know, mediocre. I did get like 20, I think there's a 26 out of 9. So it's not a horrible, horrible gameplay or whatnot. I know that... I know that there are others who can do better, like I mentioned, but, you know, again, just if you look at this gameplay, if you look at the way I'm using all these shots here, it just makes this mediocre gameplay look, you know, more action, like I said, more action packed. And that's, I, I think that's the goal here. And I think that's kind of a, I, I kind of want to do this as a, a, as a challenge to like all the other, you know, YouTube commentators out there who just record you know, one angle and then say, you know, and then pass it off as like, oh, hey, this is a, you know, here's my gameplay right here. And half the time I'm like falling asleep watching some of their shit, you know, and don't get me wrong. Some of it's good. You know, of course, there's those guys that have, oh, I got a hundred kills and everything like that, you know, all done with kill streaks. Go figure. But it's all just one angle, you know, here it is a multi cam. You know, here's a multicam feed right here. And this can easily be done. Uh, all you have to do is pretty much record both your gameplays. I mean, record the first person view. Then go ahead and record the third person view. And then in your in Sony Vegas, they already have the option for multicam. All you got to do is sync up both gameplays. Uh, delete one of the audio tracks. And then you can set it up as uh, you can enable multicam and then set up the multicam views and then you'll see like two screens and instead of hitting like and from there you can just hit like the buttons one or two for your uh for whatever angles you want for whatever shots you want you can review how things are going and uh it works pretty good as you can see this works really really good i think this is a lot more effective than just watching your average you know your your average first person view gameplay and this actually kind of helps people who um, may get motion sickness as they're watching your gameplay. Some people can actually can't watch commentaries. I I know that's kind of weird that that it's kind of almost unheard of, but it is true. Some people do suffer from motion sickness from watching a first person view all day. But if you switch to a third person view, it kind of breaks things up and it makes that more viewable. So it kind of in a way this kind of also broadens your audience. Um, of course, there's a little bit more work involved, but, you know, to me, 
the ones who put in the most work are the ones who deserve the most respect and the ones who are going to and those are going to be the ones who will stand out in a sea of multiple YouTube commentators. There's so many out there right now. This the whole YouTube community is like flooded, literally flooded with uh YouTube commentators who are trying to make it big, you know. They watch a scene Anders video or eat my diction video and they're like, "Hey, I can do this too." And they do and nobody watches their shit. And they they pretty much have to whore themselves out. They have to Go ahead and make numerous comments all over YouTube and social media and do everything they can just to get noticed. But, and, you know, they got Machinima and they're like, please watch my video and stuff like that. And Machinima looks and they're like, eh, because they've already seen it before. They've seen it all before. And yet you wonder why you can't break through. Well, here's one idea. This is, I'm hoping that this kind of lights a fire in the asses of a lot of YouTube commentators when they do their videos and they they see you know they see this video and they're like hey you know this isn't impossible i can do this so do this do a multi-cam commentary i dare you till next time peace out